All right, today we're uh, at the chicken coop. Gotta get clean. Hey, chickens are messy. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit, uh, show you a little bit inside my coop on uh, what makes it easier for me to clean my chicken coop. Some of the ideas I put into this coop. Um, so let's get inside here and see what kind of a mess we got. These guys can be pretty messy, so we'll give you a little show here. All right, as you see, I actually built this coop so the whole door opens. I have a little front end loader on a John Deere tractor with a little front end loader. I'll pull it over to the edge here. I'm able to scoop everything out and just shovel it all into the bucket and then take the bucket down there and I got a mulch pile. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of everything in here. We got our water and our feed bucket. We get rid of these couple things. And uh, I kind of like these leashes. I have leashes hooked up here and you can hook in buckets right on the leash and it'll hang it and keep it up off the floor, which is nice for your water and your feed. Now these roost here, I put a set of hinges up on this wall because it's hard to get underneath of that and uh, clean underneath of there. So what I'll do, see we got, I'll give you a little peek at the hinge. You can see right up there, I put some hinges on the wall. I got one there and one there. And we got a chicken in there laying an egg. So she's down in there, she's gonna lay us an egg. Hopefully get some breakfast. But anyhow, my windows <coughs> are just made to where they flop up and there's a little latch up on the top. Just a little latch like you'd latch a door. I mean door. My doors my windows are all homemade. I made them out of scrap. They're made out of three quarter inch uh, oh no quarter inch plexiglass and what I'll do let's see if we can get this here I take this door a window and I'll walk it down now I'll take my roost which are on hinges I'll bring them up here and I'll hook them so now I got access to the whole floor I mean, I could shovel, sweep, do whatever I want in here. Now, this is uh, the boxes I built. Each box was constructed with some old uh, scrap, pretty much scrap wood, just some one buys and stuff I took to the uh, uh, table saw and cut up. And I just made some little perches there where they could get up inside them boxes. And the same way with this in here. I actually... Uh, I don't think it took more than a sheet of plyboard to build each one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, it, actually the backs of these open. So you could go in there and get your eggs and whatnot. I'll show you how the backs of them open up. So you could see. Rather than walk inside the barn and get your eggs. I just come through the door and actually each one of these open up from the back side and you can get your egg in here. And it, it's better than walking in the chicken poop and uh, each one of these open up so you can reach in and grab your eggs. Same way with that box over there, it does the same thing. Now the tops of these boxes, I, I actually laid a piece of wire over top of this because my chickens wanted to roost up here. And if I would have known that when I first got started, which we all learn from our mistakes, uh, I would have put the box back a little bit further and wouldn't have given them enough room to be able to perch up on the top of here. Uh, the other box on the other side, if you look at it, I don't have nothing on the top of it because at that time I realized that they would perch on the top of there. So what I did is I put it back a little bit further. I, I use sawdust and I do lose a little bit of lime. 
and I use a little bit of lime it seems like it keeps down some of the smell so well, I went to the local uh, sawmill um, I live pretty close to a sawmill and um, they actually give me sawdust for free so what I do I take a big old drum I take a big old drum I get my sawdust and I just fill the bottom of the thing now I'm not so sure you should use sawdust for peeps. I wouldn't put sawdust in your peep pan. Use a mulch or something. Use a sawdust. I don't think it's uh, good for them. They want to eat it. So you, you don't want sawdust in your uh, peep pan. What I'll do is I'll uh, get a bunch of this sawdust. We'll dust this floor nice and heavy. Try to dry up anything. Any kind of uh, manure we get in there. So we'll just keep covering Now that we got the floor all covered up, we're going to get some lime. I put a little lime on there. Like I said, it kind of holds down the smell. I take a little bit of lime and I just sprinkle it around in here. A little bit of lime. Kind of holds down the smell and makes it a little better. And they'll kick it around a little bit too. You know the chickens. Especially over in here where the roost is, man. That's where they go to the bathroom all the time. So, so now we got it limed up. We got the lime down. Now all we got to do is get it all back together so they can get back in here. These birds, they might get a little excited. They like to come in there and lay their eggs. When you're in here, they don't like coming in here too much when you're in here. Besides that one. Jeez, he ain't bothering her any. So, alright, I know it's a little dark in here, but I'm going to give you guys a view of my door. I know all these people are building doors with all this wood and stuff like that. And I kind of like mine made out of metal. I bent these two little things. I just took the forge, heated them up. And all they are is like quarter inch dowel. And there's a little bolt here and a little bolt here. And they're just kind of wrapped around the bolt. I welded two little, uh, two bolts on here. One there and one there. This string comes up here, actually goes into the other room in there. So I can open and close it without walking through the chicken poop or going outside to open it. If it's a rainy day, I can just pull the string over there, throw the feet in, I'm out the door. It's not an automatic door, but it does lock. So as long as the debris down in here doesn't get too thick, you're okay. I probably could have fixed that by moving these up a little bit and it would give a little bit of room, but I keep it clean. so. Animals don't get in and out of there. I'll let the door down, which I can go in the other room to do that. I let the door down, and when it drops, those two little pins, those two little clips went across. Now, as you can see, this door cannot be opened. No matter what you do, you're not going to get that door open. It keeps the coons out, uh, possums, whatever tries to get in there, they can't get that door open. The only way you can get that door back open is to pull on this string and it releases them and then you pull it back up and then hook it. Very simple door. It's made out of some uh, just real thin angle iron, half or it looks like maybe three quarter, one inch angle iron, piece of half inch board. Easy door to make. These guys are making them too complicated. That one's so easy to make. But uh, you want one, I'd build you one. It's not a big deal. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and put this thing back together for these chickens. It's not a big deal. Just take the rope off, open up the door, window. We need some ventilation in here. We've got a little latch right here. Latch her up. We got air. We will fill up their water. Remember in my last video, I told you guys I use this for my chickens. I wrench out the water, wrench everything out. It doesn't cost me a dime. It's all storage water up on the front off the roof. And they don't mind drinking out of mud puddles, so this rain water is not going to hurt them a bit. We'll get it cleaned up. Get the water in there. We got good pressure too, surprisingly. Now, if I was to turn on all them tanks over there, it'd be a lot more pressure in this because you got more pushing down on it. But free water, you can't beat it. It's what we like, free. 
cheap. Everybody's trying to save money. So we got our water. I like to keep everything up off the ground for these chickens. Keep it up off the floor. It seems like it's better. Man, I hope the video was a good video for you guys. I hope you learned something from it. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody watching my videos. Um, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, or subscribe to my channel. I'm still going to be putting out some good videos on some of my ideas. Uh, not saying they're right or wrong, but if you guys leave me a comment down at the bottom if you like it. Leave me some type of comment or something. That way I'll know to keep making videos. Okay guys, until next time, thanks for watching.